anyone will believe us. A woman has been strangled. I saw it. Strangled? Yes, strangled. Madam, don't you think perhaps you had a little nap and maybe had a bad dream? Young man, I was not dreaming. I saw it. Ask them. They saw it happen. What did I tell you? Nobody is going to believe us. Even my friend Mr. Stringer will have his doubts. Mr. Stringer, will you kindly give me a leg up? Certainly, Miss Marple, I have... Please, Mr. Stringer. <coughs> and as for the police, well, they are positively insulting. I assure you, Miss Marple, that a woman cannot be murdered on a busy train a few minutes before a station without our finding out about it. I'm quite sure you mean well, Inspector. But if you imagine that I am going to sit back and let everybody regard me as a dotty old maid, you are very much mistaken. Looking for something, Miss Barbara? Father, this is Miss Marple. Uh, Jane. I'm a plainer Jane I've never set eyes on in my life. Only Agatha Christie, who authored Witness for the Prosecution, can mix murder and mirth with such hilarious abandon. <laughs> To meet the inimitable Margaret Rutherford is to know the indestructible Miss Marple. Who's that? Who is it? To meet Arthur Kennedy, Muriel Pavlo, and James Robertson Justice is to know a best-seller thriller with real-life intimacy. I think someone in the family may be a murderer. What happens when a murderer knows he's discovered? Come out at once. And only Miss Marple stands in his way. Well, if they won't believe us, we'll just have to go and solve this crime ourselves, won't we? <laughs>